For this tutorial, we're just going to look at how to create the bendy lines that you see here on this uh, LED light box example. Um, this is one way to do it. There are probably multiple ways to do it. This is one pattern of design that I will show you. Um, but there are many other designs and patterns you can use to create this. Uh, but this will just show you how I did it for this specific type of uh, bending a uh, laser cut um, uh, patterns for wood uh, that you might be interested in. So let's go ahead and get started. And uh, just so you can see kind of what this thing looks like and how the sides here are bent. Uh, and just notice here that there is a gap right here. And that's going to be somewhat important, and I'll, I'll show you that in a, in a minute. So I'm going to go to a blank document here, and I'm going to move this down here. Um, and as always, I'll go ahead and start a new component. And we'll just call this test. And let's go ahead and just start a sketch. And we'll start a sketch right here. Um, and let's see, what do I want this to look like? I guess something like that. Like that. And let's do this. And now I'm going to make this line a center line. So not construction line, but a center line. Um, you don't have to do it this way, but I kind of like doing it this way. And let's make this the midpoint here. And let's give this a dimension. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's give this a dimension from here to here. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna wait on that. Let's do Let's first make these two lines equal. And then I'm gonna make a center uh, point arc. I'm just gonna come down to here. Do something like that. Let's give this a dimension. What is that? All right, I'll make this two. There we go. And let's make, um, I'm going to make a line. It's here. Well, construction line that. And let's give an overall dimension from this point to this point. Well, let's do from, sorry, from the center line to this point. There we go. That's giving me. 12, let's make this, it seems like a lot. Maybe that's fine, that's a lot. 12 is a lot, eight. Didn't like that, hold on. I just think 12 is too big. I don't want it to be 12. That's why can't it be something else? 10? Okay. Let's make sure that's tangent. Ah, oh, interesting. Let's go back. Well, I guess we'll just, uh, okay, so I just took the dimension away from this and then made sure it was tangent. Um, and that's now allowing me to, to change this overall length. Uh, and you get the overall length here when you're dimensioning to a center line. And that can just be helpful for you to understand um, how big something is gonna be um, overall. I'm only drawing half of it for the moment. Uh, and we'll do some mirroring uh, of a 3D body 
to get the full, uh, to kind of get both sides of this. The last thing I do want to do is I need to create that little gap that I was showing you in the beginning of the video. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm actually going to come into this point. I'm going to draw a line like that and down like that. And now let's just go ahead and dimension it. Whoops. That again. And I want this to be 0 0.01. Pretty small. It doesn't have to be very big at all. And that should give us this little area here that I can click on. And we can see it's not including that these are two separate areas. There's this and this, and that's what we want, okay? <laughs> so that's, I think, done for this sketch. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change now to sheet metal. A couple of things to know about sheet metal. Um, one is there's different sizes or thicknesses of sheet metal. So we need to kind of make sure we're using the correct size. So if we come to modify sheet metal rules, um, I have something here, one inch, inch wood. Um, and if you click on the little pencil to edit it, um, you can see thickness here. Um, that thick thickness is not correct. We want that to be 0.125, which is uh, standard thickness of uh, eighth inch wood. And we can change that if we need to, depending on the size of the wood. But um, this will basically make it so that when we do the sheet metal and kind of extrude these lines to this shape, uh, the thickness of the material will be eighth of an inch. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So in order to do that, we're gonna choose this flange thing. And I'm just gonna Let's see, let's undo chain selection and let's try and click these lines here. And we're just gonna zoom in here to, you can see actually what's happening is it's going all the way over. I don't wanna do that. So I need to break the line at this point. So I'm gonna go back into my previous sketch and take care of that real quick. So we'll open up the previous sketch. Use the break tool. It's a tool we don't use very often. And just see how you kind of hover over here and click. Now you'll notice that these are two separate lines. Perfect. I'm gonna finish sketch, and now let's do that uh, flange tool, uncheck chain, and now we can come in, get that, and then zoom in here and we can see we're not getting this little bit here, and that's exactly what we want. I'm just gonna turn it on edge here so we can kind of see. Um, let's just pull it so you can see what's gonna happen here. So you can see now it's extruding on the kind of outside of the line, which is exactly, um, well, I think it's what we want. You, hey, it's up to you exactly what you want. I'm actually gonna put it, let's see if we change the orientation to side two. Now you can see it's inside the line. So if this overall height is important to you, then you'd wanna be on the inside of the line. If it's not, you could be on the outside. You can also do it on the center, as you can see there. Um, you can do it symmetrically if you want to. Um, that's up to you, however you wanna do that. None of this really, really matters at the moment. Let's just, I'm just gonna do one side. We'll call it for like that. And let's change our material um, to the wood there. And that will be an eighth inch material. Uh, and let's go ahead and click. Okay. So now we've created this sheet metal thing. And the nice thing about sheet metal is we can unfold this bendy piece to a flat piece. Uh, let's just verify first with the measure tool that the thickness is 0.125 and here you can see it is, so that's good. That's what we want. And um, before we do that, we're gonna actually do a mirror uh, and make this one complete thing. Uh, so we have both sides of this sort of beginnings of an LED light box. So let's go ahead and call the mirror tool. Uh, we can stick with bodies 
and the mirror plane be here and we can keep it as a join and we should still have that little slot there and that's perfect because uh, that'll allow this to uh, open up so next let's unfold it so if we come to modify we should see the unfold option and this is kind of weird to just sort of click on a flat surface these will highlight unfold all bends perfect there we go and now we can um, basically create a sketch on here and then draw. So I'm gonna go ahead and sketch on this. This is the bendy part. So this would be the top, this middle is the top. This is where it's bending and this is where it's closing in again on the bottom. So I wanna draw on one of these um, areas where there are gonna be bends. So let's go ahead and bring a sketch in. And I'm gonna start by drawing construction line here and I'm gonna draw another construction line here I'm just snapping to kind of the existing there's can't see them but I'm snapping to these existing lines here and let's go ahead and draw the pattern. So the pattern is pretty simple. I'm just gonna draw a line like this. And I'll draw another line, whoops. And another line that's gonna be like, something like that. Okay. This line, I want this line to be centered on this. And in order to do that, I'm just gonna give it a point so choose the point to, and I wanna find the sort of halfway. So if we zoom in here, you can see there's the little midpoint icon. So I'm putting a point on the midpoint of that line. And now I'll just make this uh, coincident here. There we go. Now I want this uh, to be a certain distance from this line. So we'll say from here to here is 0.125. And from here to here is going to also be 0.125. Additionally, I want to give lengths to these lines. So I'm going to say that this line, let's do 1.5. And this line, let's try. What if we do 3? No, whoops, missed it. 3. So we could do three. And then I'm just gonna mirror this last line, the sketch mirror of this line across here. Perfect. Okay, so that's the basis of the pattern we're gonna use. You can design other patterns. This is just uh, a simple pattern that I sort of came across looking around on the internet. Um, and I know it works, I've used it on many of my uh, designs, but there are probably others um, that you could use. Anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and finish the sketch. And now, I'm just gonna kinda turn it here. We're gonna extrude. Actually, uh, yeah, we're gonna extrude. For this, this is something we also don't use very often, is the thin extrude option. This allows you to extrude lines but give it a certain thickness. So I'm gonna choose that. Uh, our distance will be to object. We're gonna uh, go to here and uh, we need to select our lines. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see I've selected the lines. Just notice it's on off to one side of the line. We're gonna fix that. Um, if we come here to wall location at the bottom side one, we're gonna to go to center. Now you can see they're centered on the line. Uh, the wall thickness, I want to be 0 0.01, nice and thin. It's set to cut and there we go. It's gonna cut those holes, that's perfect. And if we kind of just come back in here, we can see we've got those holes cut there. And now the next thing is we're gonna pattern this. And so I'll call the rectangular pattern tool. 
We'll change this to features. We'll choose uh, the feature we want, which is the extrude. And the axis is we're going down this way. And let's see here. I'm just going to pull that to get it started. Um, we're going to not have extent. We're going to have spacing. The spacing is going to be, um, let's see here. I think it's going to be negative 0.5. Nope, negative 0.25. That's right. So that looks pretty nice and even. And now uh, let's just look at the top view. We're going to just keep adding numbers here until we get to where we want to be. And I actually don't know. Let's, there we go. Change the visibility settings there so I can see this line. And so we're just going to keep adding. That's probably all I'm going to get. If I add one more, it's going past that. and I don't want that. So we'll just keep it just like that. So now we've got all of our lines there and we can hit uh, OK. Oops, that's in the way. There we go. Perfect. So now we got that. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to mirror that across. So we can call mirror. And we're going to go back to features. We're going to choose these two. Mirror plane will be here and hold down and then choose it. Now you can see they're all over here. I'll hit OK. Perfect. So now we've got our uh, cuts on both sides of the bend and I can go ahead and come up to this option and refold my faces. There we go. Now you can see it's showing the cut lines bent around. Now you can add whatever you need to add to this to create your project. This is just a quick tutorial to show you one method of creating these types of bends. There are other ways to do it, um, but let me know if you have any questions and thank you for watching.